The film story starts in the prison where a chained person is shown. When the soldiers arrive, they open the inmate's door and drag him to the balcony. All of the inhabitants can be seen screaming and calling him a murderer and a bloody monster. The jailer demands that a guard declares his retribution. In front of crowd, the guard announces that court has declared his punishment of hanging after two days. But before hanging, the executioner will break his hands and feet and all people are thrilled with excitement hearing it. At least who is that killer? Let's see. Now the story reverts a few years ago, where we see a view of Paris fish market which was the most sticking place in this city. People used to earn their bread and butter by selling fish and meat. Here we see a fish seller lady who breeds a dead child. And this lady had also bred four dead children before and she kicks them into the stream with the rotten fish. But she gave birth a live child now. But thinking him dead, she also throws him into a stream. Now dead child weaves due to odious smell of rotten fish. Standing people there catch the sight of this child and curse his mother. This child is the same prisoner who was announced punishment. His name was Jean. He possessed two characteristics. First, he possessed a perfect sense of smell. And secondly, if someone leave, leaves him, that person was dead somehow. As his mother who had thrown him after his birth is sentenced to death. And Jean is sent to the orphanage of Madame Gollard, who used to foster the children only for the sake of money. But the children in the orphanage feel insecurity taking their importance, so they try to kill Jean. But Golan saves him coming there and beats those children. Facing difficulties in orphanage, Jean is unable to utter a word for five years. But using his sense of smell, he knows about everything. Due to the short capacity in an orphanage, Golan sells him to the collector of animal skin at the 13 years old. As Jean leaves from there, some thieves kill Golar, stealing all her money. The buyer of the jeans takes hard work from Jean, and he also takes him to the city, where coming out from order, Jean's first time takes the taste of the wonderful world and scents. Leaving Luke, Jean is attracted to a perfume shop, seeing it. He looks at the shopkeeper holding a few famous perfumes, and at the same time he smells another scent coming from a fruit seller girl. He is enchanted off by her. That girl offers him fruit, taking him hungry, but Jean catches her hand off. On it, she leaves the place feeling fear, but Jean finds her using his sense of smell but jean presses her mouth to avoid the people's attention so the people may not gather there as the people leave jean removes the from the removes the hand from the mouth of the girl putting her dead and her scent is gone gradually leaving jean is astonished where will the scent dissolve now let's talk to the another character who was the great perfumer of the city of paris and his job had gone down with the arrival of a new perfumers in the city. He used to imitate the other perfumers. On the same evening, Jean visits his shop for the delivery of a goat skin, and he looks at the variety of perfumes there. Sensing the smell of Baladin's body, Jean says that he can make such perfumes for him, and Baladini makes fun of him. Jean tells him about the power of his ability. Baladini gives him a chance. Jeans create perfume and give them a Baladini who defects the aroma of love in them. This perfume was the most famous, so Baladini is left astonished. Seeing it, Jean ensures him that he can also make the best ever perfume. Sensing it smells, Baladini misses his beloved. He has got a lot of talent. Now, Baladini buys Jean from the Grimmel. On the same night, drunkard Grimmel is dead falling into a street. Baladini and his perfumes get popularity in the whole Paris because of Jean, and he teaches Jean about his own perfume making techniques. He tells Jean every perfume has three sets, in which consists of four scents. Its mean total scents are twelve, which can be differentiated by human beings easily. Otherwise, no existed man in this world can match 
the perfume if someone makes the 13th perfume. James become emotional about it thinking he will be able to make it and he asked Baladini to teach his process, promising to give its best method throughout the world. Baladini tells the process of adding 10,000 flowers into the bottle according to his design machine, which he had learned it before coming in Paris. One day Baladini finds James weeping. As Baladini asked the reason, James called him a liar, saying that his told method is unsuccessful and old. It could not capture the iron and glasses into a bottle. After Baladini's incident, Jean loses consciousness. Now, Baladini is both worried thinking about the loss of fame as Jean falls ill. Jean asks the other process from Baladini, and he tells him to extract perfume from the fat of the animal's skin. Baladini orders him to go to the grass. He takes 1000 formula in return. Jean learns the work going to grass as Baladini sends him from there. As Jean leaves Baldini, Baldini's house is dashed out into dust, putting him to death. Going to Greece, Jean first time leaves the sense of freedom. He was the slave of no one and could take his own decision. Now, there was two ways which led to Greece. One leads through the village while other is through the mountain. Now, he begins to go through mountain. On the way, he observes a cave where he stays to for rest. He sleeps peacefully, spending many days there. Jeans begin to smell his body but does not feel his own body smell. While showering in rain outside, he realizes that he has not his own smell. The next morning, he leaves to Greece. He senses the same fruit seller girl's perfume. He sees the prettiest girl getting off the carriage. Seeing this, he pursues her and comes to Greece. Going to follow this girl, he enters a palace, possessed by the world's richest man, Riches. Laura, the lovely girl, is his daughter, who was Greece's most stunning woman. Jean's work for just a lady whose husband keeps a close watch on her. Jean learned the two tools of obtaining perfume from animal fat. While also living in their company, he applies the first matter over his female co-worker. He, apply, he boils that girl's dead body in a tank with animal fat, but he cannot achieve success. In the second process, he takes a street worker in which he used animal's fat glo glossing on a cloth. Killing her, killing her, Jean shaved her head and glossing her head body, he wrapped it into cloth and he becomes successful while extracting perfume from the cloth according to the told method of Baldini which he applies on street worker pet dog for checking then he makes a set of 13 bottles told by Baldini it means the murder of a person of each bottle at Laura's birthday party all girls and boys play there to hide and seek finding chance Jean also arrived there and attacked Laura but she is survived and twin girls at the party are disappeared now we know that Jean make first two bottles of set killing these two girls and both girls dead bodies are seen floating in the water which is under the bridge of the city after it the chain of the girls murder begins in the whole city and frightened people start to lock their outside doors of house in order to save their daughters but Jean prepares the 12 sets of the bottle and mixes them all into a big bottle. Now he needs one more bottle to make the perfect perfume. It's mean the murder of Laura. Observing, Richie say that all victims girls were young, with no mark of seduction on their body. This murderer has killed them for a reason. All people visit the church for help. Coming there, a man informs about being caught by the mur dead murderer. All people are filled with joy hearing it. Richie does not believe on this news. Worrying about his daughter, he decides to leave Greece, so escape with his daughter the next day. Jean sends the smell of going Laura from the city. Following her, he finds her first with his ability. On the other side, street worker Do detects the hair and clothing of his owner lady in Jean's room, which is now by Trot, who was the co-worker with Jean. Investigation of police discover the cloth and hair of the other girl. Richie stay the whole night in a hotel room in his own room. Jean steals the key from his room and goes to Laura's. Next day, coming in Laura's room, Richie weeps bitterly, finding Laura's dead body. Now Jean makes the 13th bottle, mixing it into a final bottle and becomes successful. 
now jean is arrested by police the story again becomes where the punishment is being announced after two days people come to see the end of the jean remotely as they bring him out from the prison who emerges from the carriage dressed as a prince the executioner kneels down and calls jean blameless while weeping and all people feel the taste of heaven as he waves it in the air and all call him an angel jean takes himself as the survivor savior of mankind he throw his handkerchief among the people and within a time all people start making love without any discrimination of younger elder poor rich black white etc observing this jean feels true love he misses dad fruit seller girl He pleased dad by loving her as much he will be able to make her his own thinking about it he is sad suddenly riches reach there holding a sword in his hand to murder jean but the magic of perfume also make him uncontrollable bending down at his feet he asks forgiveness jean realizes his mistake he departs from the city later the effect of perfume is disappeared among the citizen Jean is now going to return to his birthplace Fishcon. He takes the perfume bottle from his pocket and pours his over him. Realizing this everybody in the room does have their eyes attracted to him due to the impact of the perfume ripping him in this way Jean's life is ended. The end. Thanks for watching.